All right, so we're going to do the next part of the iridescent Arataki Rockin' for Life Tour de Force of Awesomeness. So we're, we're going to start with my least favorite thing, Hello. the music. You... That was the Great. mouthful. I've been looking forward to you hearing you play. That. <laughs> that's fine. Okay. That That's my friend Dave. He's, he's just kind of like listening and watching me do this because I told him he gets to be entertained by me fucking the song up so badly. Okay, I actually did better on my account than I did on yours, Dave. <laughs> I only got like an 83... between 83 and 88 on your account. Yeah, I was kind of disappointed. I, I thought you were going to do God worse. damn it! <laughs> I didn't collect the rewards. I hit the wrong you button. Didn't, you didn't want them. Yeah, I do. They're Primo Gems and Mora. Especially the Primo Gems. Okay, now I, need I, was to get, take I was also annoyed. I heard drums and nobody was playing the drums. I have no control over that. I'm just saying. Do better. Okay, we're gonna go to an island of kitty cats now. Let's take a picture of this kitty cat here. Annoying little flying little. And look, we get to take a picture of three kitty cats now. Okay, now let's go take a picture of a doggo in Fontaine. One of the doggos you don't like. And then one of the doggos say... you do like. Hmm? Did you see that I don't like a dog? Yeah, you don't like how they're dressed up. That's very different. I like dogs. I know you like dogs, but you don't like how they dressed up these dogs. Right, so I don't like their costume. That's not I don't like the dog. I'm just Well, you know. let me rephrase it. You don't like how they designed them. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I mean if you're recording, we gotta make sure that you record it proper, you know? Fair. Doggo. Birdo. And then we're gonna go running over this way for another birdo. I'm 
I'm not saving the pictures anyway, so it doesn't matter. And we need to get a Leoa. Because that's where these things are at. <clears throat> okay, this first one I'm going to do really annoyed me because I had a hard time differentiating the horn sounds. So there was just like this one I kept messing up on for this one here. Okay. We'd like to invite you to attend this music festival. A music festival, you say? You know, I actually met my husband because of a song. Quite the coincidence, huh? Ooh, which song was it? Bet, you can, bet we can play it for you. We're super serious about music. Oh, in that case, could you play it if I were to hum this tune? Sure, I'll give it a go. Haha, <laughs> how exciting! I messed something up again. That first one. Okay, so it's just the first one. There we go. You see why I was struggling with the horn? Still got it done faster in this one than I did on your account, though. Oh, wait, I should have been reading that shit. He's been fiddling with some old books that haven't been selling well all day, and I haven't been able to dis dissuade him from doing so. But I'm sure such cultural exchanges would interest him. I'll ask him to bring some souvenirs along that he can give out to boot. I just completely skipped over reading all that text. Out of habit. You say out of, out of habit as you've read text in this video. Yes, but also when I'm playing on your account, I'm just smashing the button to forward the dialogue and not even reading it. I thought that's how you were supposed to play the game. No. A music festival, you say? Thank you. I do confess to being in the habit of collecting radiant crystals, spin crystals. Oh, then you must have music you really enjoy, right? We could play it for you. We're serious musical types. Oh, really? Well, there is this one tune. What say I hum it for you, and you play it for me in turn? Sure, I'll give it a go. Thanks for your trouble. So to be honest, I don't even listen to the humming part. I listen to the part where they strum it with the instrument, because they'll actually play the tune before you select it. This one and the next one will be much easier.
you. Ah, now that brings back memories. Reminds me of how, when I was young, I would wake up er er very early to attend calligraphy classes at my teacher's place. It was so early that it was still dark out, and it was terribly frightening. Fortunately, I passed by the house of an old granny, and I could often hear the song drifting out from her home. It would give me a sense of peace. That dear old lady probably isn't with us anymore, but I've also grown, and I'm no longer as afraid of the dark. <laughs> In any case, I've given it some serious consideration, and while I'd love to agree, it's going to be tough finding someone to watch a time-honored store like ours on such short notice. So let me recommend someone else to you who might attend instead. Shingu's Antiques boss, Lin Lang. She doesn't even open in the daytime, and you can either find her sleeping or wandering the streets. I reckon she'd have the free time to help. Regardless, thank you so much for letting me hear that song again. I hope your musical venture goes well. Hmm, an imitation? As in a date? Er, um, no. This is about musical exchange. By the way, do you have any songs that you like? We can play them for you, just to show you we're legit, you know? I see. Well, I do have something in mind. I'll hum and you play. How does that sound? Sure, I'll give it a go. I'm listening. Nope, I messed one of them up. Probably the second one. Right. No, it's the third one then, I guess. And then they don't even use the same, like, instrument when they play the final thing. There we go. My dear guest, it would be no exaggeration to compare your performance to Dectal Helm. Him. When I was just starting in this line of work, I went to Minlin to purchase some ancient jade. On the way there, I heard music coming from Qingyun Peak. I was so enraptured that I wondered if it might be the music of the Adepti themselves. You know? <laughs> Thank you. I thought I'd never get the opportunity to hear it again. As for the music festival, I must say that I wouldn't call myself any kind of music enthusiast. I simply happen to like this tune, so forgive me if I must decline. But allow me to slip from my lips to this tidbit of gossip. I believe Ming Jing's jewelry boss, Jing Zhe, is a clo closet fan of music. Perhaps you could ask her? Last but not least, I wish you the best of life with your festival. Which is funny, because that person suggested her, and they're suggesting each other, but neither one's going. It ends up being the book person who went. 
Azuma. And then we're going to turn in for decorations. Hello. Oh, really? Oh, I can change the lightings. I changed the lights in your account to purple, but when I did it on my account, it was daytime and it wouldn't let me change them. This guy sells Dungo Milk, but I already bought up all his stock for today. Oh, wait, no, I did that on your account. That's right. Can you take a guess who this is? Oh, I guess you're not there anymore. Pat Head. Grow. It's Pat Head. Can't grow taller. No, it's Sayu. No, it's not. Let's let's. Sayu's the character. Yes. That's I'm gonna, not a character. I'm gonna show you something. It's a ball. That's that's not a ball. It is a ball. Actually, you know, what? I can just go into the character thing and show you. Where is she? Here she is. Yeah. See. <laughs> it's not a costume after all. It's a no, guy. No, it is her costume because she has no, human ears. See? No, she doesn't. Yes, no. she does. No. She has four ears. <laughs> See? Look at the move. Clearly natural. No, it's the hood. See, what I'm concerned about is how the tail moves, because that tail has stitches on it, which means it's a costume. Mm, or it's injured, and it got stitched up because of the injury. Is that you, Traveler? Oh my, I've heard so much about you from Feng Feng. You have me a disadvantage, sir. Oh, right, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Ling Kuing. Feng Feng is one Wen's books shop or books house's Ji Feng. She's my wife, you see. She was the one who told me about this event. I don't know much about rock and roll, but Feng Feng says that we should support the latest cultural trends, so here I am. I brought some free cultural products as well. They got snapped up in a heartbeat. Ah, if only I'd known, I'd have brought more. She also asked me to thank you for the invitation. Had she not been so busy, she would have come down here herself. I'm sure of it. I hope you'll enjoy yourself here, too. Alright, so let's collect the stuff from the event. I am so close to getting a Goro card thingy, but uh, I have I think I have a slight problem with that. Yes, I have a slight problem with that. <laughs> uh, at least they'll give me character pools, question mark? Oh look, character banner pools. Let's see how many I got saved up. I got eight for banner, eight for, or five for the standard. All right. So that's going to be it for this part of the Iridescent Artaki Rockin' for Life Tour de Force of Awesomeness. And I'll see you guys later.